All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube here in the future. We are starting off our 12 hour stream today with Bant Midrange. So I wanted to try out uh, a deck that's kind of similar to like Bant Flash, but not not super flashy. Uh, you know, we have a, a few creatures with Flash, Angel of Grace, Frilled Mystic, Gross Bower can be played at instant speed as well, same with Settle. But um, you know, besides that, we're, what we're really doing here is we are uh, kind of focusing our early turns on acquiring a lot of mana with the help of Land of Elves, Incubation Druid, and Grow Spiral, and getting out to these Planeswalkers earlier with uh, Vivian Reed and Teferi, and also trying to acquire a lot of mana for Hydroid Crisis here as well. Um, so, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're basically like just being a, a big mana standard deck um, that gets to play at instant speed as well. So, looks like it looks like it'll be pretty good. Um, yeah, I have I have high hopes for uh, Bant midrange here, so I want to try it out. So, there we go. Hey, Screaming Canuck. Day's going pretty good so far. It's pretty early. Ooh, let's see if we get 750. Ah, we're not lucky. All right, 1,000 gold. Bant midrange. Got a lot of decks on the docket today. With it being a 12-hour stream. Got a lot of decks on the docket. What's the best deck I've ever made? Probably Eldrazi Tron. Hey, okay. Yeah, it's similar to Bant Flash. What's the gold payout for three wins? Uh, 1,500. So it costs 1,000 to enter. At two wins, you get your 1,000 back. Three wins, 1,500. Um, four is 1,700, and five is 2,100. One is 500. So there you go. Yeah, I like, I like these events. Um, they are pretty decent value and um so a lot of people are like you know asking me a lot are you gonna start really grinding best of three uh the uh ranked and i'm always just kind of thinking meh i just like these I like these events no i don't go to scg opens anymore i am a full-time stay-at-home streamer all right uh do I want to hold up Frilled Mystic? I don't think so. I think I try to advance my battlefield here. So I don't think my opponent will like play anything. So I'll just get play the Shalai, which you know, it gets countered. That's fine with me. You know, I don't want Teferi and Vivian countered. But Shalai, Shalai can get countered. And I guess I couldn't even hold up for Old Mystic before anyway, because I had the planes. So actually, it didn't even matter. Yeah, Eldrazi Tron um, fell out of favor in modern ever since Ixalan, whenever humans became a deck. Humans is a humans was a horrible matchup for it. Um, humans isn't as popular these days. Eldrazi Tron could be better favored. Eldrazi Tron is usually good against graveyard decks, and there are tons of graveyard decks around. I won't hide from the world any longer. All right, well, you since they talk, to slow down. this actually is just, like, really good for us, because we get to... Oh, man, I could hold up Frilled Mystic, but I... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to just play my own Teferi. Draw a card. I hurry. So, like, I, I could just hold up Frilled Mystic, but... I mean, I just got to get their Teferi off the battlefield, right? Seems reasonable. This is hardly my worst. Yeah, defeat. Chalice the Void, real good against uh, those decks too. So honestly, Eldrazi Tron may be pretty, maybe better position these days. Let's slow this. Hold that thought. All right, so opponents now ticking up. 
which means that we get to tuck theirs. Reverse. And we can just chill with Frilled Mystic. Hit him a little bit. Hey, what's up, Yahweh? And we dock. Hey, y'all. Good morning. So it looks like they have explosion for two or electro dominance. All right, so I'm gonna go. One, two, three, four. I'll have four mana left over. I don't think it really matters if I which ones I tap. Our opponent could have like Niv Mizzet that we could not counter last turn, but we have Vivian anyway. Let's skip to the good part. Your deck is sweet. Uh, keep holding up for old Mystic. Yeah. I mean, I could just resolve Vivian, though. I resolve Vivian. We'll start getting our Hydroid Crasises. The wild wasn't meant to be content. The wilds are my shield. I'm so glad I don't ever have to watch Todd play a Bant Nexus deck as bad as to play against. It's worse watching someone play it. Hey, I'm sorry, Rev Daddy. Well, I mean, I'm sorry it's so bad to watch and everything. Um, but yeah. As you know, I haven't ever played a Bant Nexus deck yet, but I know people have been asking me if I would play the deck. I was actually thinking about playing the decks like sometime. Kind of soon, or like you know, base, m making my own version of the deck and trying it out. So it could certainly be a dive down here. All right, so I want well. So counter that. I'm countering this before they get to draw with. Oh no, they'll still get to draw with Nimizit on the battlefield. Never mind, that's not going to work. I should have tapped both land werewolf. Right, because Nimizit's not dying till after the Vivian Reed thing, so they still get the, to ping the one point. I should have tapped both land werewolves and gone with that. Oh, okay, well they're pinging Vivian anyway. Scars are le this is nothing. Alright, so. All good. Hey Swiftcap, good morning. Yeah, this deck, this deck's feeling pretty good. I'm liking this one already. Yep, early stream, 12 hour stream. We're doing 12 hour stream today because we got to 1,000 YouTube subscribers. Yes, I'd like to counter that spell actually. And Frilled Mystic is great. All right, we got some Nagates. Um, don't have, don't think I need a sideboard too much. Bring in Nagate, take out Settle, um, take out Shalai. Maybe take out Shalai. A big sub count would be great for the day. How do I feel about Growth Spiral? I haven't haven't uh, haven't played it yet. We didn't draw it there. Um, I could certainly see Growth Spiral being Druid of the Cowl. Um, I was kind of debating whether to play Growth Spiral or Druid of the Cowl uh, in general here. <laughs> Sweet, yeah. I've only played Gates the one time, and it was it was really good. I think we'll have to I think we'll have to kind of change up our sideboard a tad. I think our, you know, it was our first chance, first try at a sideboard before. 
I don't know what the other two cards I want to cut are. This may just be Shalai. Yeah, I guess so. Stop. Stop biting me. What are you doing? Because I wasn't petting you for a minute? There you go. Why not all the shock lands? Yeah, well, also just the damage that the shock lands deal and everything. Um, yeah, it's. It's not so good against all the, the burn decks and everything to have just mono shock lands there. Yeah, that's... Hawkeye's always not so happy if I'm not petting him. Hoping no Daphne Clarion. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, we got a land war off to trade with the Syncopate. That's not so bad. The Incubation Druid does get to add blue mana also, so we do have mana for Frilled Mystic here. Um, so I. I think I just pass. Other option is also is just playing another land war off here. And then holding up Grow Spiral. I'm gonna play another land war off. It kinda looks like we have negate. Hey, Techstar. Tilt. Hmm. They don't have any lands either. All right, so I can go Hydroid Crisis for four. I think I'm going to do that, honestly. Oh, well, we know this is going to resolve. Just draw two. And now Hydroid Crisis isn't going to die to a Deafening Clarion. And if they have, like, they can resolve to Fairy here and tuck Hydroid Crisis, but. All right, well, now we're, like, good to go. Now we got our thing. So I guess we only need like five mana up. So I can attack with these two. And then we can either Angel or Frilled Mystic or Activate Incubation Druid. Now I'm not really playing Modern anymore. No. Don't destroy all my creatures. All right. Hey, what are you doing? You just bite my arm. He usually gets like this whenever he's real hungry. But he usually eats in about an hour. So I haven't fed him yet. But yeah, so far, Bant Midrange looks... Really good. Um, played out really well there.
All right, I'm petting you, Hawkeye. There you go. Hey, Max. I have not tried Esper Control, no. I have not. It's a little bit of an awkward hand. All these coming to play tap lands. I think it's still worth a keep, though. What are you doing? This is the only average white band song um, that I have on here. He's really moody. All right, so our opponent is playing similar kind of deck. They're out to a much faster start than us. Yeah, this is Bant mid-range. Hey, Pacemaker. Okay, so we're behind um, here with all of our tap lands. We're a little bit behind. Um... So see what our opponent can really do. Like a, a mirror type match. Maybe I should be playing Jade Light there and trying to hit an untap land and be able to go Jade Light plus Incubation Druid. I'll just take out two of their creatures, give them a couple lands, but... Alright, they only had one other basic? No, they had... No, that was two. That was two. Um... So I can also do Hydroid Crisis for three. That's only drawing one card. I think I want Jade Light plus Incubation Druid. I updated green white tokens last night to include four copies of Incubation Druid and four copies of Biogenic Ooze. It felt really strong. Oh, yeah, I bet that would be pretty good. And then Johnny and Luxon turns on Incubation Druid is really nice. Yeah, that, that does sound really good, Mac. Yeah. All right, so they got Frilled Mystic up. Um, so I guess I just pass. And I can activate my Incubation Druid. Oh, you're right. They only had one blue up. You're right. I was just, you know, like looking at the, the number of mana and not necessarily the color.
Okay. So I cannot play... I certainly want to activate Incubation Druid. But I can't do that and play Frilled Mystic. Play Vivian. Let's Kill see that. that. Can't help you now. Yeah, incubation druid could produce blue, but it can only produce. Um, it can't produce blue, but it can only produce. Uh, <clears throat> three of one color. So I could I have like three blue and one green or three green and one blue. I couldn't get to two blue, two green because Incubation Druid adds three of all the same color. Yeah, Krasis is real good. We'll be able to Krasis for uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight next turn. So yeah, our opponent's still ahead of us on mana. They've Krasis twice. Pretty good. Together, we are unstoppable. You are capable of more than you assume. Um, no, I don't necessarily think that Krasis will just be everywhere at SCG Indy this weekend. It's the first weekend. Um, I, mean, I think it will be popular, yes, but everywhere, I, I don't know about that. I said eight, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, trading with Lana Worlds makes reduces the amount of mana they have, which is something I'm perfectly fine with. Beasts are much more reliable. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Well, they auto tap the druid. Okay, they have a new druid. Well, now they can't adapt to that druid anymore. That's good news for me. That's really good news for me. Um, so I have to chump block this druid if I attack this one at Vivian. I could attack them both at Vivian. One, two, three, four, five. That would take like five, like basically that would leave me with just two mana. I'm not sure if that is worth it. Uh, that's fine. Thanks, Pogo. <laughs> yeah, that'd be... Yeah, I, I would like a, a better chair, just kind of in general. Um, that's one thing, is my chair is not too comfortable. Not dead yet. 
And next turn, I'm going to have to have Teferi tuck a Johnny. Um, so Johnny does an ultimate. That is real bad for me. All right, well, I... Well, now, I guess my plan is... Teferi, Tuck, Conclave Tribunal, get back Vivian, Vivian kill Krasis, and attack a Johnny. Be strong. Yeah, that's the new plan. No, don't tap that. I can no longer stand by and walk. I'm not ready for this quite yet. <laughs> Get that out of here. No. So I can attack Johnny for six. Here, uh, I guess that's gonna be good enough. And then Shalai protects my planeswalkers also from another Conclave Tribunal. I'm becoming irritated. Uh, Napster, Macleseth was talking about uh, Incubation Druid in Selesnia Tokens earlier, saying that they're really liking that card. So Biogenic Ooze is a card that I don't I, will lend you my I don't have in my deck. We have another Settle the Wreckage in our deck. Should be good. Uh, Macleseth here in, in chat. There you go, right underneath you. Yep, Sunshine, we're doing a 12 hour stream for um Actually I'm 71 subs away. Did I miss a sub or something? Doing a 12-hour stream for um, getting the thousand survive. followers Let's on YouTube. See. All right, let's get another Hydro Crisis or settle. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, don't tap those. Until our paths. We've only seen one hydroid crisis so far. The Teferi on tap mana is really good with Shalai. We can activate Shalai two more times now. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. Just wants to tap the mana creatures. I don't want to tap the mana creatures. Alright, if I attack the if I sorry, if I tap the two druids. No, I don't want to tap the two druids. Draw and fire. Yes, yeah, so we've only seen one of our crises. Our opponent's drawn three of theirs. We have four in the deck also. So we could really use another one. Oh, 
no time for a break. Come on, Crisis. Have come to me. Hmm. Probably need to just take the Frilled Mystic to counter the Conclave Tribunal. The Angel of Grace like, can come down and attack their Vivian, though. I probably need to just take the Frilled Mystic. I, I don't know if this the Bant mid-range mirror is going to be very rare for much longer. There are a lot of really good cards in Bant. Yeah, Ooze can go really crazy quick. It's certainly possible Meet I should be playing Ooze instead of Teferi. Friend. You know, it looks like that's what my opponent's doing. Um, we have one more Settle. Three more Hydroid Crasises. There was not a Settle in one of those. So we have There's 28 cards we don't know about here. Deputy of Detention. I... Yeah, I'm thinking that this standard format... I think that... I, I'm starting to think that Bant Midrange is going to be the... Um, the green-black midrange of this standard format. The people are going to be getting real tired of, of these decks here. Because all these cards are really good. Kind of thing, you know, like... It certainly feels like that. It's starting to... Certainly starting to feel like that. Then people may just be like, in a in a few weeks, people may just be like, oh, another Bant midrange mirror, kind of thing. Oh my gosh. Um, which one do I take up first? I guess I take up Teferi. You know what? I'm settle. not done yet. Not settle. Crisis. Balance comes. Not Crisis. Um, I take Shalai. Shalai gets exiled. If I don't take Shalai, I'm, like, pretty dead. We have seen... Uh, we know the bottom six cards, so we've seen... Uh, so there's 20, 22 cards we don't know about. So we've seen 38. You can't we've only seen one Krasis, one of our four Krasis in those 38 cards. So there's three Krasis in the bottom 22. Um, we have one more settle left in those 22. Red at night, what a match. Love your stream, learning a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks for that donation there. I do appreciate that. Very kind.
I'm going to concede. Hey, crowd, good morning. All right, binding. Baffling end. All these negates. Hmm. I'm not trying to do a baffling end. Decide to just take their mana creatures. Yeah, that's that's all I'm like really trying to do is just take mana creatures with it. Like is that is that worth it? Honestly, maybe. Man creatures are so important. Games are gonna go, you know. Games just go really long, and just the more mana you have, the better you are, better off you are. And yeah, taking news tokens isn't. That's not a. That's not a thing that matters. You can take crisis with it. That's a good call. All right, so that's that certainly makes it worth it there. I gotta cut nine cards though. I think I'm gonna cut the growth spirals. I wasn't like super happy with those, even though they do get you more mana. And I think Jade Light may not matter here. Maybe kind of go like something like this. The problem with Binding is Binding basically has to hit Vivian. Or I just have a negate for Vivian. I suppose. Um, take out one Angel. Thanks, Hasselhoof. Sub number one on the day. Thanks for resubbing there for 19 months in a row. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Night of Autumn is certainly fine, but I don't know if we have room for it, honestly. I don't really like this hand. I think it's too slow. Rolling Taters also getting it on that hype boat with the sub. Ah, oh, love all the people with the hype boats. Thank you so much. All right, Rolling Taters sub number two on the day. And we are at 70 more subs. Where is SS Hype headed? To Value Town, I guess. There we go. Yeah, Frilled Mystic is really good. Our opponent, opponent did not have Frilled Mystic in their deck, it didn't seem like. Land. All right. So we are on a mold of five, unfortunately, here. Hoping they don't have Vivian. Yeah, I saw Seth's uh, Soul Tide deck. It certainly looked like a lot of fun. Well, dang. Should I be blocking that with the Land War Elf also? No, I don't want to trade the Land War Elf. Mana's too valuable. I 
Our opponent notably had two mana. They could have played their growth chamber guardian and just didn't didn't do it. Last turn. <laughs> All right, All right Tividosi, you're there, right there with me with the 12 hour stream or 12, <laughs> yeah, with the 12 hour workday. Sorry. Uh, to repeatedly pick Frilled Mystic back up. I mean, there's just like blink effects, but repeatedly, um, not not that comes to mind immediately. That doesn't mean there's not anything, but nothing that jumps to mind. Hey, Mr. Danger Doom. Welcome back for the second month in a row. Congrats on the th thousand YouTube subs. Love the content as always. Thanks, Mr. Danger Doom. No, our opponent doesn't. It doesn't. I don't think our opponent plays Frilled Mystic. They didn't have Frilled Mystic last game. And they went through most of their deck. I don't think they have it. We have not been very good at drawing Hydroid Crisis. Our opponent drew three of them last game, which was, you know, a huge part of why they won. Um, and I only drew one through 38 cards. We have four in the deck. Hydroid Crisis would be a great draw. It's unfortunate they get all this extra mana. It's unfortunate. Ah, they're holding up negate. They're holding up this two mana there. I've lost so much already. I won't lose. No one said restoration was painless. Well, then a gate should do it. I just take a creature. They have lethal. The mold of five, not so good. All right, one and one. We lost the Bant midrange mirror. Hey, team of support, doing really good. Ooh, this hand looks great. Love it. Uh, we are on the draw. We're not on the play, never lucky. Hey, the metal. Hey, good game. Yeah, that was that was a, a good yeah, mid-range mirror there. Deep root champion. It's not one I was expecting. So they're gonna cast a bunch of non-creature spells. Grow their deep root champion. I play Teferi, tuck the deep root champion, and we go from there. Oh yeah, absolutely. Team or mid range deck can be viable. Absolutely. Oh no. That's not good for me. My whole plan is shot. Cause now if I play Teferi. Yeah, playing Teferi is not necessarily very good for us here. So I guess I'm going to just crease this for three. Hey, good morning, Cable. And Jason, happy Thursday. I 
Heck yeah, 12 hour hype. We are basically an hour in. One down. Hmm. What are they doing over there? They frilled Mystic King? Probably not Frilled Mystic with deeper champions. It's probably just other counter spells. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Sala. Sorry your internet's not going too good. Alright, hopefully I can resolve to fairy now and be able to tuck one of these. I want to tap one Llanowar Elf so I can keep up Growth Spiral. My plan is to tuck one, chump the other with Llanowar Elf whenever they attack the fairy. This isn't a fight, you can. let's take it back. Could of course use a removal spell on Lana Warlf, which would be bad. Which colors do you think are the best for these uh, green based mid range decks? Um, interesting. Thrash. Really That's pretty that interesting. Coming. I like it. They could have got. I think they could have just attacked Teferi first, and I chump block with the Llanowar Elf, but now I don't need a chump block. I don't know, maybe they just wanted to deal the damage to me, though. We'll see. Um, yeah, then... Uh, I think Bant may end up... Bant's most likely going to end up as the best color combination for these green-based mid-range decks. Hey, sell Black Lotus. Why is everybody playing Frilled Mystic and Bant? Its cost is 4. Too much for a counter effect as well as the body is a 3-2. Um, 4 is not too much for a counter effect when you get the 3-2 body. It is honestly very strong. Um, oh! I thought I was clicking to like to go to end step. Ah, I was going to end turn. Well, I didn't get to grow spiral. That's unfortunate. Now we cannot Vivian plus Shalai. Let's get more mana out, and I want to get Shalai in play. And I'll grow, grow Spiral this turn now. So I'm just not playing Vivian, but we're, we're playing Llanowar Elf. Which is a downgrade. So they're a good Planeswalker deck. <clears throat> There's a lot of good decks that have Planeswalkers in them. I'm not sure about just like a, a fully built around Planeswalker deck. I have I have made some of those. Um, and kind of building around the legendary sorceries to go along with the Planeswalkers. Does that trample? First strike. Okay. Whew. All right. Yeah, you can have first strike. That's fine. Just don't have trample. You can still have trample, right? Yeah. You can have first strike.
Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, this should just be lethal. I don't think they have anything to stop this. Alright, eight. We got eight in the air. Um, Binding and Baffling End certainly seem reasonable. As well as Nagate. Does the yellow clock symbol mean? Like th this one right here? This means multicolor cards. Like, you know, it's like white, blue, black, red, green, colorless, multicolor. Um, I don't even know what to cut. Problem. All of our cards are good. It's a problem. And just get rid of Growth Spiral. And cut a couple Shalai's for a couple Negates. Attack cards like growth. So there's a gold symbol on attack cards like growth. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure the gold symbol you're talking about, honestly. Chad is not in followers only human proxy. That is not correct. As far as I know. Alright, so our you know, so if we don't draw a land, we can go like Incubation Druid or Jade Light Ranger, we can do one or the other. Um I think I would I think I just want to play Jade Light Ranger here. There's a possibility the Jade Light Ranger becomes like a four three to trade with the the uh deep root champion maybe. Or do we find a, a land off it? Okay, so I think yeah, I think you're talking oh, okay, this gold symbol here. Um, I don't know. I guess that symbol is just telling you it has two two counters, like two plus one plus one counters on it. Yeah, I don't know what those clocks are. I don't know. Oh, it's because it has triggers? But this doesn't have triggers. I mean, I guess it... I mean, I guess it can get triggers.
it, it can trigger abilities. Dang. I was hoping... Uh, huh. So I was hoping with that block that our opponent wouldn't have a mana to counter an Ixalan's Binding. But that's obviously not the case. They obviously are going to have the mana to counter an Ixalan's Binding. Still have Quench. I guess, so I guess that symbol is anything that may have a trigger at any point. You know, Krasis is on cast, Mystic is on it, ETB, Binding's on ETB. This is like while it's on the battlefield, they can cast things and then there's a trigger. So I guess it's I guess it's just if there's a trigger at any point that could happen. Correct. Yeah, I think I think that's what's gonna happen, like whenever the Frilled Mystic will lose it once the trigger's done, because then it can't have triggers anymore. Admiral's Order is really cool. So they still have mana for Quench. Alright, can we get a land, please? Alright. Pay two life. Well, that's horrible. That's very bad. Yeah. Two hard counters there with her three mana with Admiral's Order and Disdainful Stroke. That, is, that was very impressive. We're going to have to give our opponent this game. I'm wondering what happens when my opponent just doesn't draw a deep root champion. What else do they have? Ah, Terramander. Alright, figured it out. Um try to play this. Alright, so Vivian seeming pretty slow. Let's get extra settle in. More negates, less Vivian. Hmm. Maybe I do want these growth spirals so I can just get to more mana. So I can have negate plus removal spell. I don't believe, yeah, I, I would I would be shocked if our opponent has Frilled Mystic. Uh, I, I don't think they would, because Frilled Mystic doesn't play well with the other, with the instants and sorceries. Um, I think it would be much more likely they'd have Crackling Drake than Frilled Mystic. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna play one Vivian. Don't speak. Maybe hard for us to actually pull off Real Mystic in this matchup. Actually, maybe that's the card I just take out. Yeah, I think Binding's a good card. I think just any of, I think we just want our removal spells because they ha have 
such a, you know, they have a low density of threats, so we want to be able to have as many answers as we can. Kind of glad I put Gross Spiral back in right about now. Alright, come on, white mana. Yuck. There we go. Alright, so I can just Krasis for two next turn. Draw one card. Ah, we just Jade Light. That's better. <clears throat> More malleable get out of here think. so they have enigma drake maybe not crackling drake yeah th i thought that would be their other creature was a drake but i was thinking crackling drake instead of enigma but enigma certainly makes sense i want the earlier threat Yeah, and easier on the mana, too. Yep. So that's going to shuffle the Enigma Drake back in the deck. Uh, it won't be just like, a, a you know, the second card on top anymore. Yeah, this is a merfolk right here. That's what our opponent was saying with the merfolk. Yeah, that's that's what. It, yeah. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Artuis, they have, they have a merfolk right here. When it, when you said I don't think they play merfolk, this is a merfolk right here. And that's what somebody in chat was saying. Uh, they're good at drawing their merfolk. That's what they talk about. This merfolk right here. Four spells right now. So they have, they have three cards in hand. So, you know, kind of trying to drain him out of counter spells before. Uh, we go in on these, and plus, casting the Hydroid Crisis also kind of helps us find Negate. And I think Negate would be a good card. Like, you know, I want to be able to have Settle with Negate. That would be really nice. Oh, that gives all the creatures first strike. 
I don't know. Yeah, it's just a bad block. I don't know why I was just thinking that one deep root champ, like the deep root champion, had first strike here and not the Terramander. That's yeah, I just I don't know what I was thinking there. All right, at least I should be able to binding this deep root champion now. I believe. Yeah, that is an upside of playing weird cards. The first strike kind of got me twice. Yeah, just in my mind, you know, I was just thinking that the one creature had first strike, not that they both did. I'm really glad we drew. Um, you know, another white source that we don't have to shock in. That's a good draw. I want to settle or angel. If one of these gets countered, Vivian! Alright, not another negate. That's good. No one knows the wilds like I do. Yeah, good call. I, I did have to worry about the auto tap there. Good call. Yeah, we could have not blocked and go to one, but then, like, what's what's really the point of that? Then I'm just going to block the next turn, right? So, um... I've seen things that would break someone like you. So I, I certainly think it was worth it just to block. Because they could have, like, the next turn they could just play another Warlord's Fury, give their creature first strike, and then, then I'm chump blocking... I think it's just worth a trade. Alright, so... I'm gonna activate this. I know we got the... The Angel of Grace act ability is instant speed. No Grace one is knows perfect. the wilds like I do. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, opponent didn't have another threat. That was a close game. Their deck looked not so bad. Deeper Warrior right away with all the spells. It's pretty cool. All right, two and one. So far, we've just lost the Bant Midrange Mirror. Keep. So we're gonna have turn one Land War Elf, turn two Jade Light, turn three Frilled Mystic. Hopefully, if we get another blue source. People are trying the Frilled Mystic and Legacy. Uh, is this a Kaladesh card? Pretty sure that's Kaladesh. Pretty sure that's a Kaladesh card. Judge. Judge. The standard legal. <laughs> Two mana two or one mana two two. It's a good aggro card.
Our opponent brought their de draft deck, I guess. UTB draw card. I mean, that's basically Jade Light Ranger. Alright, so Spawn Construct is whenever it dies, so they could make this a 2-2 flyer. Or also just not block it, I guess. Yeah, I certainly thought about Hadana's Climb in the deck. I mean, I think Hadana's Climb is better when you're playing Growth Chamber Guardian also. I think you want to be playing Incubation Druid and Growth Chamber Guardian for it. Uh, the Bant Adapt deck we're going to be playing at the end of the stream. That is a Hadana's Climb deck. If you show remorse, keep up the pace. <laughs> yeah, I don't have Growth Chamber Guardian in here. I have all, I have my two mana slots, fast mana stuff with Incubation Druid, Grow Spiral, also with Land or Elves. I'm trying to just gain a lot of mana to get the Planeswalkers down faster. Silent, obedient perfection. I won't let you win. Hmm. You know what? I'm not done yet. Hmm. I could settle these things. Can't be blocked if you've cast a historic spell this turn. All right. Cold logic will always win. Tap three, tap target creature can't be blocked. They're they're not they're not about all this blocking stuff. No time for a break. Hmm. So I have like 10 mana. Again. Yeah, so I'm gonna play Shalai. We'll have uh, Frilled Mystic, uh, Angel, Settle. Or even Shalai Activation. We'll have all those available. Kind of scary. That card is pretty scary. You're still one step behind. Well, they wanted the Immortal Sun in play first, so they could have three before they activate Tezzeret, so they could have three artifacts. Oh no, they already had three artifacts. Yeah, never mind. Okay, yeah, they should just activate it first. So I cannot block the Relic Runner. 
Yeah. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. <laughs> yeah, I, I know they can't activate te Tezzeret after Immortal Sun resolves. That was that was the joke. Let's skip to the good part. So one, two, three, four, four and five. So I'm gonna have. Hmm. Let's see. This is going here. I should be attacking with Shalai too. This isn't the last you've heard of me. Wild animals on you can't stop nature. I was actually just gonna take a land there. Uh you know our hand is just filled with things to do. Just wanna make sure we can just keep it land drops. Um So really too much to do here. I don't think so. I think we're okay. I could bring in Ixalan's Binding for the Immortal Sun. But I think we're fine. Okay, we're going to have a lot of mana right away. Mm. So I can play Grow Spiral and Incubation Druid next turn. Very nice. have so much mana. All the mana. Start adapting these incubation druids. Oh, the opponent likes our mana plan. They're going for the mana plan of their own. Honestly, maybe I should just be playing Lana Werewolf here, because then I would have 5 mana, then I could just activate Incubation Druid if I do not cast Thrilled Mystic. Yeah, I probably should have just played Lana Werewolf. And kept 5 mana up. Give my opponent some treasures. I feel like they could use some treasures. I just like Smothering Tithe as a card. Ooh, it's a new treasure. Alright, more treasures. Uh, old treasure. <laughs> Revel and Riches transformational sideboard. I think I finally have a decent Mardu aggro deck put together. Let's hope I get wowed. Card lucky tonight after work. 
Ooh, best of luck. Our opponent may have a tough decision here. Nope. Okay. Alright, more mana. So we're gonna... So plan is to adapt to the Incubation Druid here. Um, we even have the mana to be able to adapt and Frilled Mystic if we want. Uh, and then next turn we can Hydroid Crisis. Uh, we'll have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so we'll be able to craze this for 9. Oh, we have these things too, so we can craze this for 11. That thing's kind of cool. I'll go and counter that thing. Huh. They were all in on that Traxos. Oh, I shouldn't have missed it. My bad. Hey, we got we got a, a rare for a card reward. All right, got twenty gems for a random random card reward there. <laughs> all right, we are three and one with Bant Midrange. Our losses to the Bant Midrange Mirror. Yeah, well, well, you're right, Macleseth. I feel like I feel like Arena would help out those formats also. I think it, Arena would um, actually make like Team or Energy has a red format like not as um, not as one sided. Because I think with people with how fun Arena is and everything, people would just be playing different things still and. Uh, there, there'll be more people trying other things besides Team or Energy and has a red, and I think more things will be found, honestly. I think it was a, a combination of those decks being very good, but also just, you know, all we had was, like, Magic Online. You know, like, we didn't have, like, an arena that people just wanted to play a lot, and so people just kind of stopped playing the formats pretty early. Yeah, we have Turn 3 Teferi here. If we would choose, I think, looks like we're going to go, let's go this, and do I want to shock? I guess so. So yeah, we could have, we have turn three to fairy or turn three to lie. Or turn three, we can activate Incubation Druid and play Jade Light Ranger. I think we're just playing Shalai, though. Yeah, I think draft starts... Uh, the 1st of February. So yeah, like one week from now. That Spear of the Critics is a real bad sign for me, because it's one mana to help kill this July. Gotta pressure their life total. 
Because these spe spear spewers will just kill me if I don't. Draw like oh no, never mind, we're dead. That was pretty good. Oh sorry, demonic fire alert, I, I missed yours. Um but no no changes so far to uh Naya value. Alright, Vivian coming on out to Fairy on out also. This is 67. We grow spiral. I do like. Um, maybe I don't need the bindings. All right, binding out. That's 61. I do like negates. I think just like you know, having counter magic is really important. I guess one frilled mystic. I like frilled mystic though. Maybe one negate. Hmm. Nah, not cutting a land. We we got to get to five mana for Angel Grace Lyra, especially Lyra. You just can't can't possibly miss land drops here. Could take out one Krasis. No. I think it's, yeah, I could take out one crisis. No, it's probably a Freld Mystic or a Negate. All right, one Freld Mystic. Final answer. I guess Freld Mystic, like, you know, it counters the, the three damage thing that's basically just gain three life. No, so I should keep that in. So it should be, it should be a crisis. Should be my cut. Mystic does not attack through an 04 wall, though. I don't know, it's close. I guess Grace is drawing more cards is probably just the necessary thing. And, yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm fine taking out the Frilled Mystic. Frilled is harsh on the mana. It's a tough call either way. I'm not sure. Dang. I was not thinking they were going to block that. I, did, I don't like that trade for me. Especially with having Hydroid Crisis. I didn't think they were going to block, though. With Spear Spewer in play, I wanted to get the, the point of damage in. Would I shock if I were on the draw there? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna just adapt and get the extra mana. And I don't wanna like pass the turn and adapt at instant speed. Cause yeah, they can use a shock.
So three, four, five, six, seven. I wish I could Knight of Autumn plus Frilled Mystic with the seven mana. But because of Incubation Druid, we can't. Unless, you know, we just played Frilled Mystic at, at sorcery speed. That attack with the Llanowar Elf is really hurting me. I'll just wait on Night of Autumn. We'll either have Mystic or Angel of Grace. I wonder if I should have just attacked with the Incubation Druid. And just had Mystic no matter what. I don't hate that. Um, favorite deck in the format so far? Uh, probably the Naya Valley deck. We'll play later. But I could certainly see that that changing that into Bant later. We'll see, though. Uh. So one, two, three, four, so five. Let's just draw some more cards there. I want to hit land drops here. We got another crisis. Let's draw a couple, like draw two cards. There we go, there's land drop. And yeah, it's a really big flyer. This game's over. It's the thing about Spear Spear, if you get behind it all, it's not going to help you. Night of Autumn is just so impressive. Honestly, don't even know. Like, honestly, playing Angel of Grace is maybe better there. Um, our opponent hasn't seen Angel of Grace yet, though. But I mean, we could just play the Angel of Grace like during their upkeep or something, where we can't die and we have those two angels or like the two five power flyers. They're just pretty dead. Um, yeah, Frilled Mystic is good. What am I not playing though? Maybe I play that over a Jade Light? Jade Light's important early game hitting the land drops. Maybe I don't play Negate. Really want that Frilled Mystic in my deck. Hmm. Best of three ranked is not available yet. I believe that is going to start at the beginning of February. I believe that will start in like one week. All right, we'll try the Frilled Mystic over the fourth negate. Not sold on that either. That's fair. He's saying Spear Spewer still helps when you're behind because it can activate. Um... Spectacle. All right, do we shock in here? No, they'll still be best of one ranked. There's, there's just gonna be both of them. We have no turn 3 play right now, 
if we draw turn three play. All right, glad we didn't shock. Looks like our opponent shocked though. Yeah, that's already in the game, the duplication of four cards. Oh yeah, no, Hollowed Fountain should have been my play for sure. I I thought that was a glacial fortress. I just read I just read the wrong card. Yeah, that, that should have been my play there. I, I thought we had just yeah, I thought that was a glacial fortress. Yeah, no, that, that should have been Hollow Fountain. Really good draw. I'd be shocked if we lose this somehow. Don't think we're at a... Yeah, I'd be shocked. We're going to have to, have to target themselves. Can't target me. I got Shalai. Um, we are going to have to take two damage here for this Hallow Town. But opponent did not have removal spell for Shalai, so the game's over. All right, four and one. Yeah, Knight of Autumn was a really good card just to fill the gap there. It certainly really helped. Oh boy. How are Red Deck wins and Judith Rakdos currently in best of three? Shouldn't Red Deck wins be pretty bad position currently with all the heal and removal? Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in love with this deck in best of three, but there are also just a lot of a lot of people playing like Esper Control and things like that that maybe have a decent matchup against. Um, but no, red is certainly not as good. Like, I, I don't like this kind of like red burn in best of best of three um, as much. I think you need like a little bit more staying power. So we paid two life to play the Krasis, but then we just gained the two life back. There still are a lot of good aggressive cards. Um, we're going to be playing Rakdos Burn here up next. So we'll be kind of doing something similar to the opponent. I'm not playing Spear Spewer though. Looks like we have a good burn matchup post sideboard. We have so many things. These Knight of Autumn's real impressive, and our Angels. Yeah, this deck, this deck has been really impressive. We, lo we lost a mirror to another Bant midrange deck who drew more crises and stuff like that against us, and we mulled the five game too. But overall, this deck's been really impressive. Thanks, Fizzy. Mulligan. I'm not sold yet on the Growth Spirals. It's okay to be wrong, Mac. It's 
okay to be wrong. So next turn is just another breeding pool and a land of war elf. Red, white, with shock. Do I pay two life again? Nah, I don't consider Wilderness Reclamation at all. You need a whole lot of card advantage to make Wilderness Reclamation work. A lot of things like Chemister's Insight and stuff. There's just so many times, like, you know, just think if we had Wilderness Reclamation in our hand, how, how it just wouldn't be doing anything. It's, there's already so many other good cards that I want to put in the deck. Wilderness Reclamation is very low on that list. Much rather have like Growth Chamber Guardian, Biogenic Ooze, um, as a couple there. I'd rather play Druid of the Cowl than Wilderness Reclamation. I'm gonna save the Frilled Mystic for like an Angel. Hmm. Play Teferi here. Oh, wait a tad. I'll right, go and play Lyra Dawnbringer. Let me counter it. Then I then I play Teferi and Tuck. I need to play Teferi here actually, because they just go sixth mana, activate Resplendent Angel. I don't I don't have the second white for a settle. I need to play Teferi there. And yeah, I need to play Teferi. If I had the second white for a settle, it would have been different. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I could have tapped the elf. Um, I understand you are in need of support. I think it's more obvious that I have sell the wreckage if I tap the elf, though. I think it's less obvious if I if I don't tap the elf. It's certainly a lot safer to tap the elf.
We need to move quickly. Hmm. Yeah, so I messed this up by waiting that extra turn for Teferi, because they're going to have the sixth mana there. I need to play Teferi that, that other turn and tuck the Resplendent Angel. I think I could have... I don't know if I would have won the game, uh, but I would have been in a lot better spot. Yeah, I was certainly setting myself up to lose to a removal spell by not tapping the elf, um, but I, I was taking that risk. So like, you know, I could have drawn there and had the Shalai ready to go. Um, but then they would have been able to attack with both creatures. Don't think I want negate. Yeah, I waited one turn too long on Teferi, for sure. That was a mistake. Any tips for playing Simic Adapt and beating Mono Red? Um, probably, I think, I think you're going to have a real tough matchup there. You pro probably need to move into Bant so you can have, have some of these white cards for that matchup, honestly. I could have Knight of Autumn if they're playing History Banalia. We just saw... We just saw burn spells. We didn't see any like exile, like enchantment removal from them. We just saw burn spells, so. The curve is certainly too high here. Um, but if you want to stay in blue green, uh, maybe try Crowl Foragers for that matchup. Probably need to be playing all the Hydroid Crisis. Like I think I'm, I think I'm back on wanting all four uh, Hydroid Crisis and Simic Adapt. Um, I think you probably want all of those. And yeah, maybe Crowl Foragers and Ripjaw Raptor. So Honor Guard stops Frilled Mystic, um, and I guess like the Angel of Grace trigger, for the most part Frilled Mystic. Right on schedule. Hmm. Hold that thought. So if I if I minus and tuck Resplendent Angel, then if they have like Lava Coil for Shalai, anything any removal for Shalai, my Teferi's at one loyalty and Takali gets to kill my Teferi. If I tick up here and they use removal spell on Shalai, then they only have four power, so they do not get to kill Teferi. Could tuck now. I 
I'm about to Hydroid Crisis for four. No, we don't need to talk yet. Keep up the pace. So this is what Girl Spiral can do. Uh, you know, be something that we can play now. Yeah, the, so yeah, uh, yesterday the change was pretty successful of uh, playing Biogenic Ooze instead of Aurelia in Naya value. I want to, you know, I'm going to go and try playing again here, but we had a real quick 5-0 with the deck yesterday. Yeah, this Bant Midrange deck is, is really good. Um, and yeah, Bant Midrange is really good. I certainly, I don't think my, my build is perfect or anything. You know, I think it's kind of like me playing like an er, early version of Golgari midrange from last format. I think Bant is going to be the new Golgari as maybe the dominant deck in the format. I'm starting to think that. Could be react, I could be a little bit overreacting too. You know what? I'm not done yet. Let's tear this place up. Feel the wrath of Scala. We're just sitting back behind the... <clears throat> just sitting back protecting the Planeswalkers. Well then. That's a huge problem. That's a huge problem. I do not... I don't have anything to answer Ex Immortal Sun in the deck. I didn't board anything in to answer the Immortal Sun. I kind of want to just like really increase my mana this turn with these incubation druids before I start like playing like another hydroid crisis or something. Um, yeah, you can find the deck list here if you want to check it out. Goats with the sub. Welcome, Goats. And Thales also. Getting that Twitch Prime sub up in here. Welcome, y'all. That is five subs on the day. It's going to be pack time after this. Binding's really good. Right, we're 68 subs away now from the next 12 hour stream. All right, so we're gonna draw a lot of cards with this next Hydroid Crisis. Uh, this next crisis is going to be the largest one. <laughs> I think the largest one I've made is eight so far this league. We're about to do more than that. Uh, Frilled Mystic doesn't do anything because of Takali Honor Guard, so Frilled Mystic doesn't do anything. So I, I can't counter the binding. Alright, so it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think I may just do 12. I'll keep one mana. 
So I can potentially grow spiral. You know, play another land, grow spiral. Well, I can't now. I should have. I wish auto tapped would have kept a blue green source for me instead of the land war elf. I guess I could have tapped the land war elves though. I don't have an on blue mana. Dang it. Opponent needs to stop. Honestly, like this is this is actually like I I'm thinking we're gonna lose this game here, honestly. Uh you know, I, I w was not really prepared for a mortal sun after sideboarding. I don't I don't have any disenchant effects. I didn't bring a Knight of Autumn. Um, I was basically just relying on Teferi and Vivian to be able to deal with enchantments. Gotta be attacking. But the fact that our opponent could just like activate their Resplendent Angel. I'm pretty sure I'm just dead to these Resplendent Angels. Yeah, th that binding on the Hydroid Crisis too, that's a killer. They got my, my mana sink and Shalai taken care of. They got like basically everything taken care of on my deck. It's really strong. I am so glad they attacked. If they just don't attack, we just can't really win. So we'll get the first strike damage in first. And have Lyra be able to... Like, we just gain 5 life with Lyra with the first strike damage. Well, that's the thing. I'm dead to them just sitting back and blocking. Like, if they just sit back and just have 6-6... Six, six, if they just sit back with a 6-6 you know, six, six, you know, flyer, I can't ever get through. You know, they can just... They can find other... You know, like, they're drawing 2 cards a turn with the Mortal Sun. So that's why I'm saying... Like when you're saying like why am I saying I'm dead to angels when I have settle in hand? If they don't attack, I'm I'm dead. But they attacked, and so I'm al still alive. They saw settle last game, so it's not like my opponent didn't know about settle. They played it. They played around it a bunch last game, and they saw me have it last game, and I have a ton of cards in hand. I think I could have just played some Frilled Mystics at end step there. Actually, I was I was talking about like the Angel thing, but I I think I could have just maybe played I I think I could have played one Frilled Mystic actually. Maybe I should have done that. Yeah, I I should not have won this game. If they sit back forever, I can't I can't I can't beat them, honestly. I have nothing in my hand that beats a six, like nothing with Shalai gone, Krasis gone, and Vivian and Teferi gone. I had nothing that that would beat a, a six six flyer. I couldn't possibly win. So they're drawing two cards a turn with Immortal Sun. They just need to sit back and and you know draw two cards and really go wide. All right, Knight of Autumns, get on in here. Maybe Frilled Mystic out? Huh. 
Huh. Maybe the opponent... Maybe the opponent just... Honestly, the opponent may have just ran out of time. And they just tried to win the game right then. So they may have just kind of like ran out of time. Like something, you know, something happened like where they kind of had to go. And... Uh, All right. Five wins, though. So, yeah. We were going to be able to switch up our deck there and be able to have more answers to Ixalan's Binding. There, Ixalan's Binding. Um, and in fact, I think I think what I was going to do there is bring in my own Ixalan's Bindings. Um, because just Knight of Autumn could get shut down by Takali Honor Guard. So I would have boarded in my own Ixalan's Bindings there. Yep, the Ragdos burn deck is aggro. So yeah, so Bant midrange, very impressive looking. Um, Growth Spiral was one of the least impressive cards in the deck. Um, but it wasn't really that bad. You know, being able to play it after Teferi ticking up was pretty good. I want to fit Biogenic Ooze in this deck also. I'd have to play Biogenic Ooze over like Angel of Grace. But I love the update with gems too. Just getting getting those gems stockpiled. Yeah. Uh real strong deck though. Alright, if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you for the next video.